right, folks, and your next colleague, Mr. Mike, Mike Widow. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, I should probably start us off by telling you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I'm like an onion. I smell bad. I'm gonna make you cry. But you end up putting me in everything. <laughs> People tell me I have sick thoughts. I can't remember exactly what they said though, because I was too busy picturing myself having sex with their mouth. <laughs> uh, I recently had a gentleman comment to me that he doesn't like it when people pay for change because they're just going to use that money for drugs. I said, if you're not going to give me money, get the fuck away from my cardboard box. <laughs> I've graduated from exactly three things in my life. Elementary school, high school, and my STD test. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I graduated, but they did like my attitude, though. I had the word positive written down the board. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fighter, but I'm extremely lippy, so occasionally it gets me in trouble. I've learned, though, over the years that uh, if you threaten to kick a dude's ass, you're gonna get in a fight. But if you threaten to fuck a dude in the ass, <laughs> I'm gonna rethink the entire situation. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, every now and again it backfires and I get a guy that says, okay, now I have an entirely different set of problems. Because, hey, nobody likes a cock tease. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't understand uh, almond milk. I mean, how do they get it? Do almonds have tiny little nipples? Because that image, I can't eat almonds anymore. I just put them in my mouth and suck on them. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the second time that day I had nuts in my mouth. No, 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 it's not what you're thinking. It was for money. So my friends are getting older and a couple of them are having kids, so occasionally I get a phone call. It's like, hey, do you want to come meet my baby? And I'm like, hey, no. Because you can't meet a baby, you can only visually accept a baby. Pooping in your pants is the proper response to hi, my name's Mike. The usual response is get away from me, pervert. I also would have accepted a full glass of alcohol to the face. I've noticed that uh, whenever someone says something and then takes a sip from their drink, the thing that they said is probably a lie. For instance, uh, well, you said what to your boss? Oh, that won't get you fired. Or, uh, you showed her how much your penis? No, that's not illegal. <laughs> I told my friends that joke and they're like, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I was with my buddy the other day when he got way too drunk. I knew he was too far gone when he stumbled up and he says, Guten Tag. I would like a Hefeweizen for myself and a Pilsner for my friend here. I would also like five shots of Goldschlager. Now this is wrong for two reasons. One, He's not German. <laughs> and two, we were at a baby gap. <laughs> Shouldn't drink at a baby gap, that's what we So I read somewhere that a sneeze is the equivalent to one eighth of an orgasm. That's why I now bring pepper with me in all my dates. <laughs> Set the mood. If I can find a girl that's allergic to dogs, I'm set. You just stop off with a pound before every date, rub a couple of straights in front of my body, like, he's gonna sneeze all night. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> they only let you do that once, and let isn't the right word. <laughs> uh, I don't get circumcision, I think it's barbaric, and it kind of makes God sound like a drunken frat boy getting shit-faced and smoking weed with his angels. So just, I, can, I can make people do anything. Okay, could you make them cut off their foreskins? So, so yeah, Ken. Hey, hey, Moses, come here. I want to tell you. Oh shit, the bush is on fire. <laughs> Quick, put it out with these tablets. You can see him hungover, waking up the next day. He's like, oh, what happened last night? Who the fuck is Mary? I got her pregnant? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was recently told that I don't last very long during sex. I have no idea how my neighbor knew that. <laughs> yeah, especially since I was giving him the blowjob at the time. <laughs> that motherfucker owes 
owes me money. <laughs> This is it. You guys fucked me up by laughing. I need beat sounds for my jokes, okay? Uh, I sat down and wrote a bunch of jokes about how depressed I am. Four hours later, I had no new jokes and I was still in the bathtub crying, listening to Coldplay. The worst part is the toaster was just floating there because I can't afford the power. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I can't afford a toaster. So I got a wee bit too drunk the other day, passed out. When I woke up in the morning, I had penises drawn all over my face and a beer bottle shoved in my asshole. Yeah, kind of made me think it was probably time to get new roommates and move out of my parents' house. That's a true story. That's the worst part about that. Uh, I don't watch horror movies anymore, because none of them scare me at all. I mean, a little bit. Not since I saw one movie a couple years ago. It was written, directed, and performed in by my father. It was called Get a Job, the movie. It's <laughs> writing a sequel. It's called The Disinheritance. It's part of a trilogy. The poster for the third one is a shotgun covered in blood. I all that. I'm fucking serious this time. <laughs> I had a buddy trying to get me jacked up for a night of drinking. So he grabs me and he says, Are you ready to fuck? I said I was born ready to fuck. It made things really awkward for my mom. <laughs> I'm gonna go. That's... Stick around and get some funny comments, you guys. Wow. Wow, what a great show. Well, I just want to give a right By the way, it's all downhill from here, but I thought I... <laughs> just kidding, just kidding.